What's up traders? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Euro GBP and I am currently short on this. Uh, and what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be doing some more live trading. Now, if you're not familiar with what I mean by live trading, if you're newer to the channel, basically what I'm gonna be doing is filming a trade start to finish here on YouTube and uploading it, whether it's a winner or a loss, to hopefully give some value to the trading community here. I know a lot of times you just see people always posting just their wins, but if you watch my channel long enough, you'll see me take wins, losses, ups, downs, arounds. Sometimes the chart even moves backwards. It's all over the place here. But anyways, stay tuned. I'm excited that you're here. We're going to take a look at this trade together, talk about the setup and see how we do on it. So thank you very much for watching. Let's get into it and uh, let's go. So welcome back everybody. We're taking a look at Euro pound. I'm currently short on this pair and looking for uh, this level of resistance to hold. Now the level in pink here that I've got marked, what I did is I basically highlighted an area where the chart seemingly has found a lot of selling interest. Uh, so historically we've seen this level hold very well for sellers. And this morning I took a look at Euro pound and I was seeing that we were getting rejection on this candle. So I decided as that rejection was sort of happening to just jump into a position of my own with a short or or, uh, or a sell order here on the euro against the pound. Now, my idea here is that this is a, we're currently actually looking at a two hour chart, which is uncommon, but uh, I took the chart based on the one hour initially, so we could take a look at the one hour chart. Price was pulling up to resistance, and I saw this little counter trend and uh, marked this trend line, decided, okay, it's worth the risk, I'll take the sell here with a stop loss just above structure. So my stop loss is the first thing I think about after I find a point of entry that I'd like. So I first, so, so I'll find the entry point that I'd like to take the risk on. Then I think about, okay, well, what am I gonna do if I'm wrong? That's my next question every time. So if price goes against me here, if price just rallies and the euro pound becomes this massive bullish trend, I just wanna get out. I don't wanna hold on to a loser. I don't wanna beg for the markets to go back in my favor. I just wanna be out of the trade for a controlled loss. So I am risking $200 here. So if price goes against me, it is going to be a $200 loss. Now you may ask, well, Nick, where's your take profit and how much are you gonna make? How much are you risking to make? How much are you looking to make? Well, the answer to that is a question mark because my goal is to trail stops. If you're familiar with my trading strategy, if you've seen me trade for a while, then what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to trail stops and to basically let a winner run. Um, so my idea is this, I have the entry point in mind, I have a point of exit where I definitely wanna be out, but my point of getting out for a profit relies on the market and the price action that we, we see unfold. So for example, we are currently testing this trend line here. I would love to see this thing break if that breaks out and we see a nice little run to the downside, I will go ahead and move that stop to break even. If we then see the market continue to rally lower and maybe even make a push past some significant levels of structure, I may even trail my stop into profit. And then from there, if we were to continue to see the market roll over, if we get one of those big monumental runners, then I may be even able to lock in more profit. So the long answer is what I just told you. The short answer is I'm basically looking to trail my stop loss and to let the market tell me when it's time to jump out which we'll hopefully see in this video if this thing turns into a winner. But if it doesn't, uh, maybe you can watch one of my other videos where I do make money. Again, I post both wins and losses equally. I don't you know, discriminate. I basically will share everything because I think there's a learning opportunity in all of it. So uh, real quick before we end the, this segment, let me go ahead and say this is the trade alert section that I share all of my trades in, in Discord. So every single trade that I take, I share the entry, the stop loss and the risk that I'm taking, as well as a basic breakdown. Uh, I already told you kind of the technicals here, level of resistance, kind of downward trend structure, and then the fundamental analysis that goes to my trade. So currently the ECB or the European Central Bank is lagging in my view in monetary policy. And uh, though the Bank of England has their own troubles, I still think that short term, the trend will continue to the downside on this pair as a more hawkish sounding Bank of England could lead to GBP interest or strength. Stronger than expected, retail sales numbers from GP uh, from the Bank of England here uh, recently was also a positive thing for the GBP. So again, there's the trade, there's the initial picture that I shared. So I'm a little bit late to recording this because I had to live stream this morning, but there's the idea. I'm looking for hopefully a breakdown off of this resistance in favor of the trend. So what I'll do now is I'll pause the video, give it some time to play out and come back with an update soon. And now, Time for a quick trade recap overview. All right, 
right, guys, quick little update here on Euro Pound. The market did come out, uh, come down nicely here, which is awesome. So you can see my entry was pretty dang, uh, pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie. Not bad. I wish all my trades were this good. Recently, I've kind of been on a little bit of a losing streak, so just full transparency. You know, not all trades are perfect, but when they work out, it's really nice. We kind of double topped here on lower time frames and found some sellers here in the 0.8517 area, which is exactly uh, where I was looking for some sellers to come in. So kind of cool there. Now, the next phase of this is we have now moved the stop loss to break even. So I just alerted members within the group that I just trailed that stop. It's now locked in just a little bit better than break even just to cover the uh, the pip spread etc um, and now seeing a little bit of downside now my reasoning here is this so my initial risk was two hundred dollars we at one point here just a minute ago were up two hundred dollars so the market came down about uh, a one to one risk to reward basically at that time my risk was one uh, well two hundred dollars right and so my reward at that time had hit two hundred dollars so the the open position if you will the uh, the profit on the trade was two hundred dollars and so what I did is I went ahead and I just said, okay, we've got the initial entry and we broke out of this little counter trend that we had uh, pointed out earlier, got the breakout there nicely. And so what I'm going to do is just remove some of the risk off of the table. So I've now taken that stop loss, which was above price and brought it on down just to break even. So if this thing breaks out to the upside, if things change directions, I will just take a, a break even trade uh, and we'll just move on. So if things continue from here though, which there is a distinct possibility. We are sitting at support. I'd like to see this thing break. If it can break, if we see more downside here, uh, if we see a breakout there, then of course I will be looking to, as I mentioned earlier in the video, trail stops further. So the next key spot in price action terms for me is this level here at 0.85, 84 point, uh, sorry, 0.8495, let's call it. So if price can break through there, then absolutely great. We'll look to trail stops further. We are coming into the weekend soon though and I do plan to hold this trade over the weekend if I have to um, I'm perfectly fine doing that as I am a swing trader so my position size you know I've got this stops uh, trailed the the only risk that you take with uh, holding a, a trade over the weekend is of course if the market were to gap up like crazy which is a possibility and just part of trading there are risks involved so with that said i'm going to hold this trade uh, we'll see where it goes if it continues to move lower here during the session then of course i will give you guys an update but likely we'll be back on monday with an update so we'll pause and come back soon All right, guys, and we are all out there on Euro Pound. So price did end up reversing on me and tagged me out for a break even slash small profit trade. Of course, that's not ideal. We had a nice little thing going and then the uh, the bulls came in just in time to ruin it. Yeah, ranks are rot. But again, this happens sometimes. And honestly, the YouTube channel, if you've been watching all the live trading videos at the time of filming this, we've had a pretty consecutive uh, break even and small loss streak, which can be frustrating for my style of trading. But the thing is with these kind of trades is that sure, in hindsight, oh, Nick, you should have closed and made some money and all that sort of thing. And, you know, I get those comments all the time and, and I'm, I'm used to that. But I want to say this, these periods where you have break even trades and things are going sideways and stuff like that, that is usually a just intermediate period before the good trades come back. And that's the thing I have to remind myself when I go through these periods myself, because it can be frustrating. It can be a little bit, uh, you know, it gets, it's tough to be patient at times to wait for that good setup to finally come. But at the end of the day, uh, we did hold this level of support really nicely. And that's exactly why I had my stop loss at break even. So what we saw, is that the break even trade uh, triggered basically, uh, basically here on the rebound uh, because this level of support, as we had mentioned previously, it held, right? So I moved my stop loss to break even uh, with concerns around this area and that possible rally. And that's exactly what we saw. So uh, if anything, just a good little lesson of managing a trade properly. It sure wasn't the the big, you know, grand slam home run that we were looking for. But of course it, uh, you know, this is the sort of trades, this is the trade, the day in, day out sort of trades that we take. And that's why I share them on the YouTube YouTube channel here. I'm not here to just show you the highlight reel of my trading. My goal is to show you the reality every day. If you really want to be a trader, this is the stuff you go through on a regular basis. In fact, 90% of my trades are really boring and they're just kind of like this. And then every once in a while, I catch that great big runner. And uh, that's what we're here to do is we're here to sit patiently through these periods, sit through the mud, and then eventually the good trades come. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you back next time. Time.
What's up guys? Thanks for watching today's video. There are more videos available on our channel here and here. So go ahead and click into that for some more free trading content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time.